Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. I hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Replace fear with love. This is a great card, man. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only fertile for the words that come from love. This whole world is in fear right now, folks. It's a joke. Get rid of the fear. Love is a lot more fun, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 486, NASDAQ down 335, SP's off 78, gold contract down 340 at 1821 an ounce. You got silver down 36 cents, twenty dollars eighty-two cents. Platinum up four bucks, nine oh four an ounce. Light sweet crude up two twenty-five, trading at one hundred eleven dollars eighty-one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, the ten-year note down one, one sixteen twenty-five. The thirties flat at one thirty-five ten. And King Dollar, King Dollar's on the move. King Dollar's up uh, five hundred and sixty-six ticks, trading at a price point of one oh four five oh six. You get the euro at 105, the yen is at 136 to 136.21, and the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is a sad commentary, folks, because the bottom line is that this market is so weak, it's incredible. So picture what we have here, okay? So what we have here is that, you know, you had the big sign of strength on Friday. That was, you know, rebalancing, bottom line. You had a one-day wonder. You did 98 million shares. Yesterday, you got above it. You failed on price, failed on volume, said 66 million. Now, the thing that's amazing is that we're actually going to do light volume today, you know. But what happens is this. We try to get to a higher high. So the bottom line, this is a higher high with light volume. And the market lets loose, bottom line, my, you know, July 4th, not July 4th, looks to me like this thing's going to go right after the lows once again. So that's on the Q, that's on the spies. On the Qs, what you have, it's not, it's a, I, don't, I, I can't see this making the gap. That's the bottom line. Uh, NDX 100, the three Qs, that is the one that's calling out in spades because the three Qs couldn't get to a higher high today where the Qs, where the uh, S&P did. The high of yesterday on, on the three Qs was $296.57. We got to $295.65 today. Bottom line, couldn't make it. And the Qs are going to have an expansion of volume. Bottom line, you did $54 million yesterday. You're at $49 today. We'll probably do about $79 million. And then if we get, let's just go right to the dollar because you can see that what has happened is this. You know, the dollar, so picture this, folks. The dollar, let me not bring this back because the dollar has been on a run higher, okay, for a huge amount of time. You know, we take a look at the shot, what you're going to see, okay, going all the way back to, uh, let's see, yeah, January of 2021, right? The bottom line, dollars going up, markets going up. No big deal, right? Now, folks, guess what? It's a big deal. Uh, this, is, this correlation was direct. I mean, when you see this dollar, each time the dollar's going higher, bottom line, markets going lower. So, when you take a look at this dollar and we put this up, now this is where this gets dicey because it looks to me that this dollar is actually going to go, well, it's going for its high right now. Let me just see. Hold it. Yeah, it, it wants anything over the 103. Yeah, anything over the 103, man, it stands to go into 121. This thing looks like it's really going to go to 121. And it's making more sense to me now, too. And what I mean by that is this. The fastness of the move as the dollar was going higher, market going lower, right? And what we have is that we have ABC structures down. We have multiple ABC structures down on the S&P, NASDAQ, small caps. So in order to fulfill that, that's telling me the dollar is going to go higher. Well, if the dollar goes much higher, the dollar is going to go to 121. The dollar goes to 121, bottom line, you are going to see some uh, real destruction in this market. 
Uh, bottom line, get ready if you want to go to Europe to buy some euros, though, because the euro will be at 87. That's how this shakes out. We pull this off. And don't forget, I'm in Mr. Teddy Cakes that just started the Tiger Forex report. You know, this is a great time to check it out, folks, because I'm telling you, the dollar is moving the market. You know, up and down. That's the, that's the real bottom line. As you go over to TFNN, you're going to see the Tiger Forex report right in the front page. Check it out. You can be a charter member. Um, still comes with a 30 day money back guarantee. You don't like it, it doesn't do something for you. Guess what? You get your money back. So, we take a look at the euro. You're going to see the euro is there at 105. Bottom line, we bring this up. And I remember this because I started the gold report when the dollar was 121 and the euro was 87 which is hard to comprehend, but guess what? You know, you wanna go take a vacation at some point? Well, there's the, oh my God, that's 67. I don't remember that. <laughs> uh, 80, yeah, it was 82, 82 and uh, two, uh, so that was uh, 2000, that was 2000. So I started it right there. Yeah, there it is, 83. Um, you know, bottom line, that's, that's what's happening. Uh, and we get this break, so the, the euro right now is at 105, you get 103, Bottom line, you are going to, you know, get downtown. Uh, we go take a look at, uh, you know, a, a few of the miners out here. Some of the Tigers are looking at the miners and say they're backing down with light volume. And let's go take a look at an Eco Eagle first. Take a look at an Eco Eagle. Um, yeah, it is backing down with light volume. I, I would, you, you're going to have to be really careful here, man, even in the gold market, because the gold hasn't responded that like it should well, not like it should. There's no such thing as like it should, okay? It's responded like it's supposed to, you know, buying and selling, okay? My point is this. You have inflation raging. Gold hasn't broken down, but yet it can't catch a bit. That being said, if this dollar goes to 121, we're going to see gold go lower. Um, yeah, the, the, the correlation is direct. That's the real bottom line. Dow Industrials right now off uh, 475. We get the Nasdaq off 332. S&Ps are off uh, 76. We have the, uh, uh, you know, it's it, Platinum's interesting. Uh, Platinum is having a hard, not a hard time. Platinum uh, just basically not only just rejected price. Um, I like how it kind of rejected price. We'll see where the baby shakes out. But the dollar is the number to keep your eye on, folks. Check out Teddy's new um, Forex report. Uh, what he has in there is Forex. He has the uh, all, all the pairs. He has the dollar. He has oil, and he has interest rates. You want to know where they're at, folks? Stay right there. We'll come right back.